Hey everyone, my name is Larry Snow and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up a social media monitoring system for Twitter. In particular, in this case, tweets referring to hashtag Super Bowl or Super Bowl LI, but they could be any hashtag or any search term that you want. So let's get started and I'll show you how to do it. First step is to go over to Twitter Advanced Search. Just to go into Google and type in Twitter Advanced Search and you'll get this website. Once you're on here, I've already pre-filled in Super Bowl and Super Bowl LI, but this is where you put in your hashtags. Now these are ORs, right? They're not going to be AND, so they're not going to find this and this and this. They're going to find this or this or this. You can also put in exact phrases. You can put in all of, all of these words, any of these words, none of these words. So you can omit words that you do not want included in your search results. You can also include uh, certain people, uh, certain accounts, and mentioning other accounts. And then the big key here is you can put it near a place. So for in my example, I put it near Houston, Texas. Uh, to change that, you'd click in here and type in any, any city. You can also specify dates. And lastly, you can specify whether or not you want to have positive, negative, or a question or included retweets. Once you've got your advanced search settings set, you click on search and it will present with something that looks like this. So we'll have your search query here and I'll get to within 10 miles. I have it up here and that's something uh, you add manually. It used to be in the Twitter advanced search down here. It used to be a radius. So you could say within one mile, 10 mile, or even switch it to kilometers. They have since removed that from the advanced search but it is still there. So if you knew about it, you would be able to do it. So I've had the very end here. I have uh, within 10, within colon 10 MI and uh, Twitter found things related to that. So now the great thing with this search result is that you have uh, the top tweets, you have the latest tweets, you have people. So people who are tweeting in about these hashtags photos with these hashtags, videos, and more. So you can even go on periscopes, and you can even click on news, and it's all right here, right at your fingertips. Any of these channels you can dive into. One of the things you can do uh, over here on these three dots is you can click on save this search, and it'll be saved in a uh, all of your saved searches, and it'll be over here, so anytime you want to come back to it, you click on the little magnifying button. Actually, you click inside the search Twitter, and here are your recently searches, and here is your, your saved searches. All right, and then you can also embed this search. You can embed this on a web page, web post, uh, for WordPress type of thing, HTML page, Anywhere you can embed it on the web browser for the web browser to see. And all you have to do with that, you click on embed this search. It will take you over to something called the widgets configurator. And it'll already have picked up your search query here. And you can do safe search mode or only to show the top tweets. Height and theme is up to you. I always opt out of tailoring Twitter and then you click on Create Widget. When you do that, you'll get the embed information here. You copy that, you put it on your web post or page, as I have done here, and this is what it looks like. So that's it. That's a quick and easy way to get yourself monitoring what's going on on Twitter. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to subscribe to the channel so you get notified of more videos when they go up. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next video.